Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews, alongside Lorenz Larkin. We are here at Millennia MMA. He just finished a nice long practice, a bunch of grappling. You're fighting a guy who is well-rounded in Derek Brunson, but, but really predominantly a, a grappler and a wrestler. Talk about this fight. It's a big one for you, UFC 177 up there in Sacramento, California. Yeah, man. Um, it, it, it's, it's crazy because I just, I just want to get it over with. You know, uh, I've been training for a while now because, we, you know, we were – originally slated for um staples card you know and and things happened with that card so it fell through so now you know we got bumped forward to the sacramento card so now you know i'm just i'm just i've been waiting to get in there so you know the the sooner the better so it, it's kind of taking a long time but i the time is coming how does that, you know, play in when you hear that and, and you're peaking maybe, you know, you're feeling good, your, your fight's coming, you hear the, the card gets postponed. What's your thought process in terms of not wanting to overtrain and, and you know, kind of do you back off for a few days, kind of get a little bit of rest and then, and then go back after it? It was cool. It gave me like two good days to eat good, you know, and hit a couple fast food places. But, uh, no, nah, it's cool. You know, you just, you just can't go as hard as you were going. You know, you just gotta gotta back off a little bit and then and then restart up. You know, peeking out. So it's all good. You know, I, I feel great, no injuries. So um, you know, I'm just ready to get in there. Talk about this being one of one of the biggest fights. I mean, everybody always says that your next fight's your biggest fight in the sport, but this one really is a big one for you. you you're coming off some some tough close decisions and and, and a loss in your last fight. Uh, you know, and a fight that you were doing very well in. I thought in the first round against Costa Filippo. Do you feel added pressure in this in this fight, or you know what's going through your head? You know what? It's it's crazy because I, I just at this point, dude, I, I I don't really care anymore. You know, you know, it's not like in in a bad way. I just you know, there's been so much stuff that you know has been happening, you know, in in my UFC career, and and you know, and I just need to get back to you know how it used to be. So now you know, and and that's how it used to be. You know, I just I didn't really care so much. I just went in there and fought, you know, trained, 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 and fought. I didn't really care about where I was going to be after that fight and, and, and things like that, and, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just, that's why, you know, I, I haven't really done too many interviews or anything like that because I, re I really don't care anymore. I just, w just want to train, and I just want to get in there and fight as much as I can. You know, I don't want to be worried about what's going to happen after this fight, where does it put me, and, and all these other things. Do you feel like you were overthinking things in the last few fights? Yeah, you know, I just was thinking, you know, oh, you know, after this fight, you know, I could get here and and and, and if I beat this guy, you know, it puts me in this slot and, and things like that. And now, and you know, and, and that's not how I used to be, you know, I used to just, I didn't really care. I never, when people ask me like, you know, what do you feel like you're ranked? I, I don't I don't know. You know, I just didn't really care. I was just more, you know, I, I do this because I, I love to do it and, and, and I get paid for it, you know, but, um, you know, we're just being Lorenz. Now you're back to just being Lorenz. Yeah, you know, I just I don't even care anymore. I just want to fight. Period. You know, win or lose, I just want to fight and get get in there and get it over with. And you know, that's how I feel like I, I used to be, and that's where you know I am now. Nice. And uh, you know, talk about your training. Of course, you're here with, with the guys, uh, Johnny Bravo, Mike Flatch, and these guys here, Romy and Batista at Millennia. But you're also getting some work in. I know with uh, with Bisbing still and doing that stuff, right? Yeah, you know, I was I was visiting up with Bisbing. Uh, uh, like one day out of the week, to, uh, I was meeting him up at Rain, getting some sparring in. He, you know, he's meeting him up or beating him up. Ah, man, both. You know, <laughs> it's it's vice versa. He could go, I get some, he gets some. No, but um, you know, he's he's fighting a week before mine. A week, yeah, a week before mine. You know, against uh, Kung Lee and um, he's you know, kind of a good. Uh, you're a good sparring partner for, theoretically, for a guy like Kung. Yeah, yeah, I would believe so. I don't know about my spinning back kicks, but you know everything else is pretty legit. No, but um, yeah, so he's looking good and throw some spinning back kicks to the legs. Do one of those? Ah, uh, not in training. Cause those are heels, but <laughs> uh, but you know he's looking good and, and it's good because we're both peaking. You know, kind of you know uh, at the same time. So you know we're both getting giving each other good work. So you know it worked out good for these two fights for us. And being at Rain also, I mean there's a ton of other guys that are really good wrestlers, which is something that you're going to need in this fight. Yeah, yeah, you know I've been working on my wrestling not that much, you know. I uh, I've probably been working on my wrestling um, an hour a week or something like that. I don't know. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully he doesn't wrestle me. I don't know.
is there any want uh, you know to not is there anything thought process like oh i got to fight a, a fellow strike force guy anything like that or is this, at this point it's uh, that's all passing behind us no nah, it's all past i mean shoot if we all look at the books you know uh, the strike force guys bring it you know what i mean every every fight you know since we've been in the ufc so you know so there's no no, it's funny how nobody talks about Strike Force now. You know, nobody's like, oh, they're a feeder and all this. And there's no bad things now. It's only great things. But no, but I, I, you know, it doesn't matter. We, even back when we were in Strike Force, we well, all fought each other. So it's, it's not a biggie. You haven't had any easy fights in the UFC. You know, it's it's been a ton of tough guys, tough fights. Do you feel like, oh man, I mean, and and I think Derek is is a very very tough opponent. Do you feel like, dang man, I. Wish I could get just something a little bit uh, a little bit calmer here. Somebody a little bit lower in the ranks, maybe. No, you know, because I, I I've always said you know I I only want tough fights. You know, I've said that in you know a while ago. You know, that's just at the end of the day, it's gonna get me better. No matter win, lose, you know, or, or draw, whatever. It, at the end of the day, fighting tough guys makes you tough. You know what I mean? And and fighting the best makes you the best. So. You know, there's, there's no biggie. It's it's like one of those things where you fight the best all the time. That's all you're used to, you know, so. And anybody in the UFC is tough, that's yeah. for sure. So uh, anything else you want to say, I guess, uh, tell us how it's going to go down then, August 30th. Oh, man, my hand raised and um, a lot of partying after, having fun. No, uh, I'm, I'm anxious to get out there in Sacramento. I, n I never fought out there before, and I'm pretty sure the fans are going to be crazy out there, and uh, we're going to have a good time. Anything else? Uh, shout out to my sponsor, Venom. Eye on me. Always MMA interviews TV. Got it right this time. That was awesome, man. Um, well done. Yeah, everybody who supports me, man, and 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 everybody who tunes into the fight, I guarantee you, it's going to be a great fight. There you have it. Be sure to tune in August 30th up there in Sacramento, California. Lorenz Larkin, Spencer Lazar. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Ariane Celeste. This is your Ryan Faber. UFC lightweight champ Anthony Showtime Pettis. This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA interviews. And MMA interviews. You're watching MMA interviews. TV.